Welcome to another presentation by the light of Zion. Uh, it's my pleasure to present, to bring to you this message. And the title of this presentation is He that endures until the end will be saved. Yes, the one that endures until the end will be saved. As usual, this is the presentation by the light of Zion. And you can check out our website uh, for more information or things that will benefit you in your work as you wait on Yahuwah. <clears throat> so let's progress. Endure until what? He that endures until the end will be saved. But what are we to endure until it's over? He that endures until the end of the punishment and discipline time that Yahuwah imposed upon his chosen race will be saved. Yes, many of you do not know or many of you are not aware that Yahuwah imposed or recommended punishment for his chosen people, his chosen race of Israel. Well, in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse, verse 5, there Yahuwah gave this instruction to the Israelites. He said, You must not bow down to them, nor be enticed to serve them. For I, Yahuwah, your God, I am a God who requires exclusive devotion. Bringing punishment for the errors of fathers, upon sons, and upon a third generation, and upon a fourth generation of those who hate me. So Yahuwah gave our forefathers this instruction, or this warning, that he is a jealous God. He said, do not bow down or be enticed to serve the gods of the other nation. Because he will not what withhold bringing punishment upon fathers and sons up to third generation and up to fourth generation or fourth cycle of those that hate him. So with this, Yahuwah has made it clear that he's going to bring punishment upon the Israelites when they break away or when they leave him to go and serve the gods of the nations. So in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 36, there it is written, For Yahuwah will judge his people, and then he will feel pity for his servants. When, they, when he sees that their strength has waned, and that only the helpless and the weak remain. So Yahuwah made it clear that he will first judge his people, the race that he has chosen to serve him. He will first judge them when they leave him to go and serve the gods of the other nations. But after he's going to feel pity for them when he sees that only the weak and the helpless one of them remain. So, did Israel break the covenant with Yahuwah? Yes. Did Israel leave Yahuwah to go and serve the gods of the other nations? Yes. So for this, Yahuwah brought the punishment that he has warned the people of Israel, our ancestors, that he's going to bring this punishment when Israel leaves him to go and serve the gods of the nations. So what is the punishment that Yahuwah said is going to bring 
upon the people that Israel is going to endure. Um, and that punishment is slavery to the other nations. But let's move ahead. He that endures unto what? In the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 1 and 2, there is a call by the prophet. He said, Come and let us return to Yahuwah, for he has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days, and on the third day he will raise us up, and we will live before him. So yes, the prophet Yahuwah mentioned that Yahuwah will struck his people, his chosen race. He will punish us for two days. But after he's going to do what? Bind our wounds. So he will revive us after two days of punishing us. And on the third day, we are going to live before him. He will raise us up. So yes, Yahuwah imposed punishment upon his chosen race. And for this, we have to do what? Endure until it is end, until the end, before we can be delivered, before we can be saved. In the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 8, the Apostle Peter reminded us of this. He said, however, do not let this escape your notice, beloved ones, that one day is with Yahuwah as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one, one day. So Peter remind, reminded us again of this. He said that we should remember, yes, Yahuwah said he's going to punish us for two days. But we should know that a day with Yahuwah is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. So, for yes, Yahuwah will judge and punish his chosen race and people of Israel for two days, and that two days is two thousand years before he will raise us up again. So those of Israel who endure this punishment until the end are the ones that will be saved, or are the ones that are saved. Those that are saved are the ones that will endure this punishment until the end. Or those who are marked for survival are the ones that will be saved at the end of these two days 2,000 years punishment recommended by Yahuwah. So, what is the imposed punishment? What is the imposed punishment? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1 to 3, there it is written, For Yahuwah will show mercy to Jacob, and he will again choose Israel. He will settle them in their land, and the foreign residents will join them and attach themselves to the house of Jacob. And peoples will take them and bring them to their own place. And the house of Israel will possess them as male and female servants in Yahuwah's land. And they will be captors of those who held them captive, and they will be they will have in subjection those who will have forcing them to walk. In the day when Yahuwah gives you rest from your pain and from your tumor and from the hard slavery imposed on you. So yes, Yahuwah imposed hard slavery. Upon all Israel, upon all the people of Israel. He recommended the punishment of hard slavery for all the people of Israel. Uh, they are to be humiliated. 
The people of Israel are to be humiliated, sold, and served as slaves for 2,000 years to the other peoples of the nations. That is Yehovah's recommendation. Because of the errors of our ancestors, that Israel will serve punishment or be, be, be reduced to the slavery statues to serve other nations for 2,000 years. And that punishment started in the year AD 33 with the death of the Messiah, the King of Israel. And that punishment will end in the year 2033 before Yahuwah will lift the punishment, before Yahuwah will have mercy on us. So, yes, all Israel will have to endure until the end of the year 2033. Uh, we have 12 more years to endure this punishment until it's over. And it is those he that endures until the end, uh, they are the ones that will, save, will be saved. Those who endures until the end of this punishment are the ones that will be saved. So yes, hard slavery was imposed upon the Negroes or the chosen race of, of, of Yahuwah. That is why the Negroes are scattered among the nations, serving the punishment imposed upon us. And we will continue to be in this condition until our punishment time is over. Like I said, many of us do not know that we are under punishment. And many of us therefore do are wondering why is this thing happening to us? Why are we in this condition? Why are we being killed in the streets? Why is this this, this happen? Why no reparation? Why? It's because we are under the recommended punishment of Yahuwah until it's over. Yahuwah is dealing with you, Israel, as sons. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 4 to 11, there is written, In your struggle against that sin, you have never you have never yet resisted to the point of having your blood shed, and you have and, and you have entirely forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons. My son, do not belittle the discipline from Yahuwah, nor give up when you are corrected by him. For those whom Yahuwah has loves, he disciplines. In fact, he scourges everyone whom he receives as a son. So you need endurance as part of your discipline. God is treating you as sons. For what son is, is, is for what son is not disciplined by his father? But if you have not all shared in receiving this discipline, you are really illegitimate children and not sons. Furthermore, our human fathers used to discipline us and we and we gave and we gave them respect. So should we not more readily submit ourselves to the father of our spiritual life and live? For they discipline us for a, a short time according to what seems good to them. But he does so for our benefit so that we may partake of his holiness. So true, no discipline seems to be, no discipline seems for the present to be joyous, but it is painful. But yet afterwards, it used the, peace, the peaceful fruits of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. So yes, 
Israel our sins of leaving Yahuwah our God to serve other gods of the nations will soon reach to the point or the climax of where many of us will be put to death or shed our blood. Yes, it will soon reach to the climax where many of us will be what? Put to death because of the sins of our ancestors and our own sins. But accept discipline now and return to seeking Yahuwah before it is too late. Accept the discipline of Yahuwah for he punished us for our own benefit. Yes, he put us under punishment. He recommended this punishment for our correction so that we can be disciplined as children, as servants of the Most High. So accept correction, accept discipline, accept the humiliation, let the punishment yield its fruits, which is right to produce righteousness in you as a people. Yes, endure this punishment until the end, because Yahuwah is dealing with us as sons and not illegitimate children. If we endure until the end, then we will be saved. If we let the punishment run its course, if we let the punishment produce its, its um, peaceable fruits of righteousness in us, of discipline, to obey Yahuwah as God and no other God, then we'll be, at the end we will be saved. Like I said, like Apostle Paul said, we have now reached to the point where many of us will shed our blood or be put to death because of our sins and of, rebel of rebellion. So, accept discipline because Yahuwah is dealing with us as sons and not illegitimate children. Accept discipline and endure until the end of the of, our, of your youth 2,000 years punishment time. <clears throat> if you do not accept his discipline, then you are an illegitimate, illegitimate, illegitimate son or children who do not belong to Yahuwah. If we do not accept discipline, then we are then we are an illegitimate son or children that does not belong to Yahuwah. But if we accept correction, then we are proving that we are sons and we deserve to be corrected by our Father in heaven. So accept discipline and endure until the end. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 23, there is written, Respond to my reproof. Then I will pour out my spirit for you, and I will make my words known to you. So Yahuwah said when we respond and allow ourselves to be corrected as children of the Most High, when we respond to His correction, His reproof of us, He said then He will pour out His Holy Spirit for us and he will make his word known to us. He will make us know the things he has been doing concerning us, the things written down that must take place. When we respond to his reproof by humbly accepting correction. So repent of your sins and the sins of your ancestors. Say so humble yourself and seek and call on Yahuwah your God for mercy. If you do, then Yahushua in the book of John chapter 14 verse 16 to 18, there it is written, Yahushua said, And I will ask the Father, 
and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. The spirit of truth which the world cannot receive, because it neither sees it nor knows it. So you know it because it remains, it remains with you and is in you. I will not leave you bereaved. I am coming to you. So Yahushua, our leader, said that when we turn around, when we accept, reprove, and repent as a people, then he will ask the Father to pour out his Holy Spirit for us. That Holy Spirit is promised only to the descendants of Israel. Yes, the Holy Spirit is promised only to the descendants of Israel. He said the world cannot receive that Spirit. And it does not know the Spirit. It does not see it nor know it. That promise is for you, the descendants of Israel, the chosen race that God is, is, is dealing with. So when you turn around and self reprove and turn around and seek Yahuwah your God, so he will pour out his Holy Spirit for you and he will make his word known to you. Yahuwah said he's not going to leave us bereaved forever or being punished forever. He's not going to leave us to be punished forever, bereaved forever. But he said when we turn around, he will send our king, our leader, the one to gather Israel together, the one to gather the lordship of Israel together. When we turn around and repent and seek for him, say so he will send the Messiah back to us to come and gather us back and to lead us. But we have to accept discipline. We have to accept the correction of our Father. We have to leave the gods of the nations alone and seek Yahuwah, the God of Israel, to return back to Him. So, in conclusion of this presentation, in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 11 to 13, there is written, Many false prophets will arise and mislead many. And many, and because of the increasing in lawlessness, the love of, may, of the greater number will grow cold. But the one who endures until the end will be saved. Yes, Yahushua the Messiah said that there will be many prophets, false prophets that will rise and will mislead many. And yes, many false prophets have risen, false teachers have risen, and they are misleading many. Some are being told that they are going to heaven. Some are being told they are being, that God loves all of them. Some are being told that they are, some have been misled and told that they are not the chosen race. And some have been misled and told that other people have taken over their identity and inheritance. But Yahuwah said, Yahushua said, uh, the ones that endures until the end are the ones that will be saved. Yes, there is a lot of lawlessness because today many people claim to know to be teachers or prophets or Many people claim to represent God. There is lawlessness. But Israel, you are the chosen race to serve Yahuwah. Yes, you are the chosen race to serve Yahuwah. But you have to repent, turn around, and then Yahuwah will pour out His Spirit for you. So you have to endure until the end before you can be saved. In the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 22, there is written, 
and you will be hated by all peoples on account of my name. But he that endures until the end will be saved. Yes, many, so you will be hated by all people because of who you are, because of your position, because you are a chosen race to serve Yahuwah in his, in his promised land. But you will be hated because of this. But you have to endure your punishment imposed on you as a people until, it's end, until the end, before you can be saved. In the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 36, there is written, For you need endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the fulfillment of the promise. Yes, you need what endurance, Israel, in doing the will of God. And the will of God is the punishment that He imposed on you on your race because of the error of your ancestors and your error. You have to endure this will of God until it's over. In the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21, there is written, Not everyone saying to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heavens, but only the ones doing the will of my Father who is in heaven will. So not everybody calling God, God, Lord, Lord, Lord today will enter or return, will inherit the kingdom of God when it's established when it's restored and re established. He said only those that are doing the, serving the will of his Father. And the will of the Father is the punishment that he imposed upon this, his sons. Only those serving this will of the Father, those who are being humiliated, accepting, who those accepting the the discipline and the humiliation imposed for recommended for them. They are the ones that will return to inherit the kingdom of God when it's restored back to back to Zion. So the will of the Father is that we should endure the punishment he imposed on all Israel until it ends. If you do, then you can be saved. Then you can be gathered back to the promised land. For our God's promise is that he will give this land, the promised land, to the descendants of, chosen descendants of Abraham, that is Israel, to inherit this land forever and establish his kingdom with them in the promised land. So you have to endure your punishment, accept humiliation, cry to Yahuwah for mercy and favor, to show us mercy and to forgive us of all the errors of our ancestors, and to once again choose Israel. For it is written that Yahuwah will once again choose Israel and restore Israel back to their land after they finish serving the punishment imposed on them. So, accept correction, Israel. Repent of your error of serving the gods of other nations. Seek Yahuwah, the God of Israel, and serve Him, and call upon Him for, to, to, to know Him. Endure until the end, and you will be saved. Again, thank you until I come to you next time. Take time to visit our website, http, https, column, forward slash, forward slash, www.thelightofzion.com. There you will find more information to help you while you are waiting for the revelation of our, 
of our leader from heaven to gather Israel together. Again, until I come to you next time, remain blessed and endure until the end.